Okay guys, uh, thanks for joining. If you're new to our channel, please uh, remember to subscribe and also hit the like button if you enjoy uh, our content. So today we'll be looking at um, November 2017 exam paper, physics paper one. So we'll be doing question four. So you advise to start this question on a new page. So I'm just quickly going to read through the statement without any waste of time. So the statement reads as follows. A two kilogram block is addressed on a smooth, frictionless, horizontal table. So the length of the block is X. A bullet of mass 0 0.015 kg traveling east at 400 meters per second strikes the block and passes straight through it with a constant acceleration. Refer to the diagram below. Ignore any loss of mass of the bullet and the block. Okay, so I assume you are able to clearly see the diagram below. As always, I knew this request was going to come up. But then I think just before we move to question 4.1, let's just quickly um, browse through the diagram, assuming that we're not given the information, just so that some of you can be able to then enforce or reinforce the knowledge that you have in relation to questions related to momentum. So let's see. We've got a, a compass there. Obviously, you know, upwards is north, downwards is south, uh, to the left is west, and to the right it's east. So this compass only helps you um to be able to know that we've got a bullet which moving in the direction of the east so as we have read from the question paper we've got a bullet of mass um was i don't think we're given the mass for that bullet so it's only a velocity which is 400 meters per second traveling in that direction eastwards so it strikes a block of mass 2 kg and it passes through that block so remember this block i think it was indicated that it's at rest so we know that for an object which is at rest it means its velocity is equals to zero meters per second so when you look at this part of the diagram, which we can refer to the initial phase. So let's say initial, obviously this will be the final. So what actually separates the initial and the final phase is the fact that as soon as that bullet comes into contact with the block, then we have a different story which makes it final phase of uh, that scenario so uh, the initial velocity it then becomes the initial velocity so the initial velocity of that block of two kilograms is equals to zero meters per second because it's not moving it's at rest it's only a bullet moves towards the 2 kg block so it's moving at 400 meters per second it strikes and it passes through so let's now move to a uh, the final phase of that scenario obviously guys um as the bullet passes through the block obviously that block um the high chances that it might move as a result of a uh, that bullet 
because it hits the block and uh, because it's moving at such high speed it passes through the block so there are high chances that this block might move at a certain a uh, velocity of which in this case it moves at 0 0.7 meters per second one thing for sure the velocity of this bullet will be less than its initial velocity because with it hitting the block and passing through that part serves as a resistance towards the velocity of that bullet so it will obviously uh, decrease meaning if we had to calculate the velocity or the final velocity of this bullet after it passes through that block um, it was it was obviously going to be less than 400 meters per second but i think as we proceed with our questions we might get to a stage where we are required to calculate the velocity of that bullet um, after it has passed through the uh, block which was at rest obviously meaning its velocity was zero meters per second so um i'm not sure if there's anything that i've missed but i think so far i've actually explained uh, everything on this diagram i just wanted to write something and you see that face it's before or it's initial then this is final obviously it means this is after okay so i think we can now move to a uh, question 4.1 of which i think it's not that much difficult so i'll just quickly read the question so the question says state the principle of conservation of linear momentum in weights so this question is allocated two marks so question 4.1 it's allocated two marks so i'm not gonna waste a much of our time on this question because obviously i know with this type of questions you can easily find the answer from any textbook so i've just tried to write um the simplest explanation of the principle of conservation of linear momentum so you just say the total linear momentum in a closed system is constant so that's it that's how you score uh, your full two marks so i've underlined this total so you should never in in, in your explanation uh, forget to mention that the total linear momentum in a closed system one may say a uh, in an isolated in an isolated system so it makes no difference you can say the total linear momentum in an isolated system is constant or just write it exactly as it is a uh, the total linear momentum in a closed system is constant so that's how you score your two full marks so i think without any waste of time uh, we should actually move to the next question i can only guarantee uh, to you that as we move that's when you will have a better understanding of what's happening on that diagram but otherwise i think so far so good unless if you've got any specific questions that you'd like um that you'd like me to to have a look at then you can just post your question on the comment section and um and then i'll i'll, I'll actually take it from there so let's move to the next question